All right, so Long Train Running by the Doobie Brothers. This is off of uh, The Captain and Me, 1974. Same album as um, China Grove. Just an awesome song. Just always really loved this song. Um, and the album was produced by a guy called Ted Templeman. And uh, Ted Templeman, um, he produced a lot of guys. He produced Van Morrison. Um, he worked with Ronnie Montrose. And, uh, of course, he's really famous for producing Van Halen. Anyways, uh, this is a great song. It's in the key of G minor, um, and it's kind of all based around the G minor 7 chord, okay? And the production on this is crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's uh, two electric guitar parts in the right channel. The second one, you can't really hear that well um, until you start breaking it up, right? And in the left channel, there's two acoustic guitar parts. So I'm going to try and go over the key parts um, of all those four guitar parts. We'll just, uh, won't give you every single <laughs> lick because we'd be here all day, but we'll go over the basics, okay? So uh, the lick starts like this. Okay, so on the electric part, What's like surprising is when he does this, that downstroke is on a mute, right? Like, because you would probably think it would be, right, on the G minor 7, but it isn't. It's on a mute, so it's, right? Okay, it's the acoustic guitar that actually plays the chord on that downstroke, okay? So that's basically what you got to get. Right? But of course, up to speed, right? And to get into that, um, the first bit, he's going to go. Right? Now, he does, he does a lot of stuff like that throughout. Um, you know, he's always doing little, little things with that note there and like I said I can't go over them all but uh, that that one is definitely in the beginning you kind of have to do that one right and then the song starts and eventually we're going to get to this C minor 7 chord with our little finger here on B11 and slide it down one fret we got C minor 6. Actually, it's got the 7th in there, so you could call it C minor 13. But, um... Right back to the G. And then we're going to go to this E flat 7 chord, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're just basically going to play the 6th string, the 5th string, and the 3rd string. Okay, so it's actually, that's just an E flat because there is no seventh in it, right? The seventh would be there, but we don't use that. We just play those three strings, G string, A string, E string, okay? And then we go to this chord, and this next chord, it's like, um, it's like nobody seems to get this chord, okay? But everybody seems to want to go to this So they want to go. Okay, but that is not what's happening. Okay, so what's happening is you're going to go from this uh, E flat seven, right? And all you're going to do is drop your first finger down to here, down to the D note. Okay, so now what you've got is that's a G minor, right there. That's that's your G, and that's your third there. It's like an inversion. Okay, and you've got your D note here, so it's G minor over D. So you go, right? And that is the difference. That's kind of the money chord of the song, right? That, okay? So instead of going, you can hear how that just doesn't sound right because you're playing an A there. 
stop, right? So you're not getting that, that tension, right? So properly, it's... Um, and that's how you play that bit, okay? And the first time, it's just fours, right? So it's one... And that lick there, um, although there's, you know, there's all these variations going on, these the things he's doing, that part there is always consistent. So coming out of this, that there, that's always consistent. And... Other than that, there's just those stops, you know, like where the, the breaks down, uh, the breakdown. Right? And sometimes you'll just go just straight. So that second time through, um, instead of doing fours there, right, we kind of funk it up there, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, funk it up, right? Um, so we're going to go... Uh, right? Okay, so um, it's a feel thing, right? I mean, I can't go up and down and show you every single stroke, but just kind of got to get into that feel right now in the in the major breakdown um, he's going to do something like this just going down a semitone okay and there, like, like I said, there's all kinds of little things like that one there, he goes. Right before he goes there. Okay, so that's the basics of the uh, main part. Now, the second guitar part, the electric part, is um, he's actually, you can barely hear it at the beginning, but he's doubling. When the main guitar is doing that, he's doubling it just on single notes down here. He's going. Right, and then, I mean, I don't, I can't hear what he's doing in this part, but I, I just did this. Same as that, just down here. Okay, and when I was making my demo, it never sounded right with just that, but as soon as you added this, it just made it, you know, because it just gives it some some uh, some depth right okay and also that part you know real funky right we just in this g minor pentatonic position one right kind of like that right but you know muting and playing all the strings Okay, so there's that part there. Um, so that pretty well covers for the ultra, except for the very ending, there's that... Um, okay, and that there, it, just before you go into the ending, that's a definite rhythm that, that he plays. So he goes...
and then it's the ending, right? So. that lick right and that's you hold the chord the C minor 7 hit the D string and the G string and then we hammer on the A string while playing that D string too right <laughs> right so then little trill sort of like that right then into the ending okay all right so that's it for the electric guitar now the acoustic guitar I'll just play it on electric um, it's basically doubling the electric part okay but it doesn't do the chicky chicky stuff in between right so, and instead of scratching on that downstroke like the electric does it's gonna go and play the chord Right, really a simplified version of right, just and all you know that rest of it is, is pretty well the same now when it comes to this E flat 7 in my demo I'm not sure how those guys do it but I played the E flat 7 there and then to get the G minor over B or D, I just drop this finger down here. So we got that there, and then the D7. And the whole time, I'm not worrying about the G string at all. I'm just I'm basically muting that. So I've got. Okay, so that's an option if you don't want to do there, and it you know, it's a different voice and it gives a different sound. Okay. And I actually played it another way with the other guitar part, and I'll show you that now. So this next guitar part is kind of, to me, it's <laughs> probably the best part of the song. But it's like the most ignored um, and the most unrecognized. But without it, like when I was making my demo, like it didn't even sound. It sort of sounded like not great until... We put that in there, right? And then it just came alive. So how that works is, well, I'll just play it first. It's... Okay, this, of course, sounds, you know, a little more body with the acoustic, but... We're going to just hammer on from uh, 7 to 8 on the D. And then we're going to hit um, B8 with our third finger. And it's kind of... That chord and that chord, right? Right? Back to the D, and then we hit the B, but we're sliding that down, so we're going to hear a bit of that, that A note there. Like so, right? And then B3, D3, open G. Right? And then I just mute on the one. 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 And to me, you know, that is like a brilliant part. Whoever came up with that, I think it was probably Pat Simmons. Uh, that's just, that's just a bit of genius right there, right? Um, so now when the other guys go... What he's going to do is he's going to go okay really cool that's just three and four on the B open G and then back to this and while the other guys are doing this since I'm down here I just did it here just did the E7 there, right? Like like a D7, just up a fret. And then G minor, just barred in the third, right? And D7. So I went. OK. 
Okay, and that is just such a great part. I just just love that guitar playing. And once you learn it, it feels really good, you know, to play that. Especially if you've got a guy who can get that tight, you know, playing that over top. Really makes it. Okay, now there's a there's one part there um, in that, that breakdown where it's... He does that little lead down, right? Which is... It's like a B flat, A minor, G minor, F, right? So I just played it there, third fret, uh, G and B. Whoops, <laughs> don't want to hit that. And then second fret, G, first fret, B. Like an A minor, right? It's like, that's what we're kind of getting, just with two notes. And then uh, D5, G3. D4, uh, D3, G2, so, and then, okay, and that's great, I love that part, that's just really, really nice guitar playing. Okay, so really, this one is, you know, it's funk, right? I mean, there's more chords in the entire song, but it's it's really not about how many chords are in a song, right? It's more about how well you can play it. And uh, you know, get that feel, right? When I did my demo, you know, playing against a drum machine is uh, actually quite brutal on stuff like this because the drum machine just pounds ahead, you know, it's always so precise. And, you know, when you're playing with a drummer, drummers are always mucking around with the time signature, you know, they're always slowing down and bits like that. You know, you've, you've got to slow that part down to give it some punch, right? Drum machines don't do that. Um, actually, with this one, what I wanted up doing that part, I slowed the drum machine down there. I brought it down a couple of beats per minute just to give that a bit of more added punch. But anyways, that's about it for this one. A great song, awesome songwriting by Tom Johnston. And uh, the story goes that they had been playing this song for um, years with no title, no words. Well, it had a bunch of different working titles, right? And then Ted Templeman, they were in the studio, and he said, you know, that one, that's the one you got to work on. That one's going to be good. And Tom Johnston was like, now, nah, well, that's just a throwaway. You know, it's just a jam that we do. So they recorded the whole song. They got all those all great percussion. They got everything down. And then uh, Tom Johnston went into the bathroom. It's at Amigo Studios, Amigo Studios in Burbank, California. And he wrote the words right there and then. And that was it. And uh, the rest is history, as they say. Huge hit. And it still gets a ton of airplay on the radio. You know, it's just such a quality song. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy playing this song. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.